Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Star Sector 0.8a. Last time we set up everything we needed to go on our massive trip. We actually got the mission as well. We need to basically head out to um, to Gamma Abraxas for some survey work. Uh, apparently, I head over to there. I'm going to lay, lay in a course around. Again, I wish I could do like a waypoint system. Um, Apparently, uh, survey data price is based on planet stability. So the higher the planet stability is, the more the survey data is gone for. Um, also, um, someone said that they got a, they got a different result when they surveyed Warian, um, leading to some doubts whether the entire the, whether this is like randomized or not. Um, we can solve this really really quickly uh, because a lot of people watching me have played and do play Star Sector. So right, this is the this is your homework for today. Um, make a new game. Make a new Star Sector game. Um, put one put one point into uh, surveying, and then go and survey Warian, and tell me in comments what you got. Because if you all say the same thing, I got class one spare sparse ore deposits. That's fine. Then we know it's always the same thing. But someone said they got like moderate ore and then some rare and got a class two out of it. And some people think to be able to get a class three out of it. So do this whenever you finish watching this. Whenever you've got a moment. Do a do a brand new game, because if you have like maybe you have it, maybe if you have advanced skills it changes something. But do a new game and quickly just pop in and survey Warian for me, and write in the comments what we get. Okay. Hopefully then we can solve whether. Hello, running for my fleet. We can solve whether or not it's um, randomized or not. Okay, so we need to head over to Camera Abraxas, correct? Yeah, end of research station Gamma Abraxas. So we're going to go there and we're going to lay in a course for Gamma Abraxas. The straight line through a lot of mess over there. But we have enough fuel for it. Just about. So let's go. Let's fly out. Let's keep an eye out on... Let's turn off their transponder. We're no longer in a... in a in full-on proper space. No one cares right here. Let's be hidden, shall we? Okay, so where are we? We are, uh... We've just left the core worlds. That's how big this is. We've just left the core worlds. And we've actually increased our range. I wonder where that is. Okay. Let's well, hold shift to speed. There's no one out here. There should be no one out here. Okay, see if we can avoid the storms. The storms are not the best thing to be flying through. Before you had sustained burn and stuff, it was just worthwhile just to go around them. Uh, these days, I'm still not entirely sure if it's worth to path around them. I'm gonna path around them. I'm gonna path around like slightly obvious storms, like that one and that one, and then I can just hit A again to resume the course. Okay, so where are we? We are almost there. We're almost there, and our fuel... We've actually extended our fuel capacity considerably. Why is that? Huh. Surely, like, fuel, comp fuel consumption is a function of uh, burn level, so going faster shouldn't necessarily make you burn more, more economic with fuel. Maybe it does. So we've definitely expanded our... Oh, why am I, what am I even talking about? That's not taking into account that we started from there. Never mind. I'm just being foolish. That's not taking into account the fact that we started from Corvus. Nope, nope, nope. I'm being silly. Ignore the last comments I made about fuel. Um, go on. Lay in the course. This must be Gamma Abraxas right here, right? Or fairly close to it. Gamma Abraxas. Right. Neutron Star, Barren World, Rocky Metallic World. We want to jump into the inner system jump point, to be honest. Inner system jump point, because jumping into a sun, not the best of ideas. Turns out suns are very, very hot. Hello, neutron star. Look at that shine. Look at that shine. Alright, we're looking for things to survey, first of all. So, things to scan. I'm going to do a quick, like, um... Remote survey. Hopefully we managed to find out what we're doing. Okay, we managed to find everything here. So we go to planets, current system, 
not fully surveyed. I cannot survey any of these planets. Unfortunate, because Rocky Metallic would have been a, a nice survey moment. But they're all really high in um, hazard. Why is their hazard so high? Hey, which is the one I want to go to? It's Gamma Braxis 2. Technically is the one I would want. I'm going to lay in a course over there. Just so I basically see what's causing it such a high uh, hazard rating. I'm assuming it's a radiation from this massive neutron star. You can just see the solar um, energy coming off it. And it's causing... And it's causing planetary... Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so what is causing this one? Extreme cold irradiated. There's the irradiated there. Pure light. I don't believe poor light. I guess it only gets the light when the massive beam shines on it. So we could, in fact, do it if only we had the... Um, skills. And it is like, that's, that's, that's a level 3 survey right there. Right, okay, so let's see if we can do a quick scan then, see if we can find what we're looking for. There's something on the other side of the moon, on the sun. Did you see that? There was something on the other side of that sun. I want to say, if I can avoid this massive, like, corona and magnetic force, I'll do so. There was something there. Oh, it's up, it's up there? Okay. We're gonna go over there and have a look. I'm gonna another ping here, just in case there's something else to look for. Not as far as I can see. It's just that one. So we're gonna hop into the magnetic storm. Magnetic field does not help us out much. But we are here, it's slowly orbiting the sun. There it is, we found the research station. Okay. Ba bam Let's just run the sensor package. I get paid 60,000, and you can just get out. An abandoned research station built either to stu- hang on, let's see. Your fleet gets within range of the research station that you've been contacted to run a black box sensor package on. You tap a button to execute the black box sensor package and wait for it to finish. On completion, it provides an escrow key that authorizes the agreed upon payment to be transferred to your account. Uh, presumably, it will transmit the scan results to a secure channel when you're on, on a comm relay and then delete itself from your systems. That's a bit worrying, that, but fair enough. Um, someone asks, how do you get paid this money if you're out in the middle of nowhere? Well, the answer is right there. Basically, the, the program itself contained the credits that it wanted to pay for us. It just waited for us to finish it, at which point we get the key to get the credit. It's basically, if they gave us haha, a black box with the money inside it, and the second that it realized it was done, it would unlock itself. That's basically what happened. Or in this case, where I'm assuming a credit works kind of like a Bitcoin, it basically just gives you uh, this electronic data that works as money and basically unencrypts itself or whatever the second you allow to use it. Uh, we can explore the research station though. Explore the research station. We cannot salvage it, but we will pound it into scrap. Blow it to pieces and then we'll salvage that. Uh, we cannot use... We need more heavy machinery. We lose six because we don't have enough. Ooh, hello! I was like, this is not very impressive. Some sabos, a little bit of supplies, some fuel. That's not great. I mean, I have a machine, that's nice. Some metal. And then suddenly, gamma core, which we've seen before, and a beta core. A beta level AI core can easily pass for a human and given anonymized communication protocols and will readily and ably lie if deception is required to perform its given task. The beta employs cognitive modeling of human actors to anticipate reactions and emotional responses though it is difficult to describe exactly what, if anything, the beta feels. Records on the subject are patchy and contradictory. A popular theory is that a beta will model a new personality for each human it comes into contact with. Selling these in the open market is prohibited by most factions. However, high-up faction representatives will often be willing to buy AI cores when communicated with directly, though their reasons for doing so may vary. Awesome. And a mod spec operations center. You just might, might as well learn a new mod while we're at it, right? This basically increases your command point recovery rate. It's just, we have a whole mod. Sweet. Okay, and... Is that everything? We can still scavenge here, technically. The field is unstable, but it's not... Hello? We'll take more out of it. Is this still here? Huh, there is more to do. Oh. Okay, I think we're out of useful stings now. I'm not going to risk it anymore. Um, I think we're good here, but that was a pretty, well, that was a nice hole. We got the 60,000 plus vault. We got the um, two AI cores out of that. I'm not going to be complaining. 
That's a nav relay mod spec, which I believe you already own. I need to double check that. Do we already have the nav relay? Yes, we do. So we can just sell that on, I suppose. Um, quick ping, just to make sure I've forgotten nothing else. Holding stationary in a debris field. That's good to know, actually. If I'm in a debris field, I can actually scan further than I can be seen. That's awesome. It is definitely spreading out. You can see here it's spreading out considerably. It is drifting apart. Okay. Let's let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. On our way back, let's, have, let's look around and, and see... Because what's our fuel range? What is our fuel range uh, right now? Sustain burn before I forget. Our fuel range is enough to get us back to civilized space. As long as we keep heading in that direction, we should be okay. Um, I want to go to Beta Braxis because that's a yellow star, and yellow stars are are, are far are basically more Earth-like. So I'm going to head over to Beta Braxis. Hopefully, we find something of interest over there. Okay, so hang on. What have we got to work with here? Yellow Star Volcanic Worlds. Okay, they're very new worlds, unfortunately. This is the moment when I wish I'd done, um... Uh... Astronomy at school. We had a choice when I was doing my, um... A, uh, when I was doing my IBs about doing astronomy. And sadly, that wasn't one of the options on the table. Because the teacher had no idea how to teach it. Um... Let's do a quick scan. See if it's worth surveying any of these worlds. Okay, what do we got to work with here? Planets. None of them can none of them can be surveyed. Quick ping. Yep, we've got something to scan. We got a survey thing over there, so let's burn up. Okay, what do we got here? A mining station. A low mining station. An abandoned mining station, once a source of wealth and industry to feed the world and workers of humanity. A cursory scan indicates that it has been cold and dead for at least tens of cycles, at the very least, possibly hundreds. While making a preliminary assessment, your salvage crews find some occupied sleeper pods still running on backup power. You've got 34 harvested organs. One by one, the pods begin to open as the thawing process completes. Unfortunately, it's been too long, or something went wrong along the way, and there are no survivors. At least, not with any brain activity. So we immediately cut them up and harvest the organs. I'd like to think there was a, there'd be an option there for um, not doing that, but I guess we just harvested up their organs, sure. Okay, we can't salvage it, so we're just going to pound it into scrap. Let's beat it to bits. Right. Let's just salvage up here. We can't... Yes! Nice. Firstly, because supplies and fuel always good. More heavy machinery, that's nice, because 40 was a lot of our cutoffs at the moment, so we're above 40 again, which is good. Some 12 Transplutonics, not going to say no to that, that's very, very awesome. And some metal as well, sure, that'll be sold on the market. Is there still stuff around here? Okay, so we, uh, we have full capacity to do so, and we still lose. I guess it's less likely, but... Ooh, some volatiles as well. Interesting. We are slightly over capacity, but that'll basically go away fairly soon. Um, I'm going to take that as a hint for the time being. And not necessarily leave forever, but head on our way. We're working our way back through space and time. Well, through space at least, and it's going to take time, I suppose. Um, what's the best way? You don't want to go like Blue Giant. Blue Giant's not going to have any... Any uh, living people, any any normal planets. Um, Shion? It's got a Shion. Like I like the name Shion. It's a it's a it's an orange star. Burn up, burn up, burn up. Go 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 go. Sustain burn, burn. The total fuel capacity of your fleet is five four five. The fleet is carrying two forty three. Traveling in hyperspace requires 10 fuel per equivalent normal space light year. At a maximum burn of 13, it requires 13 fuel and 13 light years per day. The hammerhead and the condor are the biggest drains on our fuel capacity. 
noted. Okay, so hang on. Pause. Where are we heading? What we got here? Desert world. A desert world isn't a bad planet. It's not barren. It's not volcanic. It's also called the fastness. It has a proper name, which is interesting. No, don't leave. Quick ping. It's worth sticking around for. It is worth sticking around for. Uh, quick sensor ping as well. There's something by the other warp point. Okay, we're going to head over there first. We're going to head to um, the fastness first. What a weird name for a planet. We'll head over to the fastness and see if we can survey you. Boop. Perform a survey. It's hot, but it's habitable. It's technically a habitable planet. It's got extreme weather and it's hot, but it's technically a habitable planet. Class 2 survey data. Eh. I thought it would be, it would be worth it a little bit more because it was habitable, but... Uh, I'm, I'm assuming like in the future, for example, you'd get things like, okay, so it's habited, so it, it's habitable, so you could essentially create a colony there. Or at least a colony with less problems. Okay, what do we have here? A domain? Oh, hello! A probe! Explore the probe. Pitted by small impacts, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we've read all that before. Automated defenses. Defender class PD drone. Warden class defense drone with a thumper to light assault gun. Fire support drone. And a picket class assault drone. Let's blow them up. We need a savage that we need to look into that probe considerably. So, all right, let's go into combat. Um, like these previous orders seem to be working relatively well, so let's go for those. The odd whiskey assault class picket variant. You've got three Vulcans, it's a uh, I've got no shields though, that's a bit weird. It's three, it's three destroyed, one disabled. I think in the... Something hit me in the back. Something hit me in the back. Um, in the vanilla game, I believe there is no way to um, recover these. Although there, there, is a, there is a mod out that lets you recover... Um, both these automated defenses and the remnant drones. Pick through the scrap. Another gamma core. Very, very nice. Uh, another Vulcan. Some more fuel machinery and metals. Metals, not gonna grab all of them. We're gonna grab what we can. Uh, we can also we can also salvage. So begin full on salvage operations. We're gonna pick up everything we get our hands on. Uh, drop the metals we don't need. Good. And is there, there's, also, there's also a derelict ship here. A derelict defender drone. Salvage that as well. Ooh. We good, we good, we good, okay. And, and a... Okay. Eh. So I, I, I'm assuming there's gonna be diminishing returns to me keeping unlikely anything of value. Okay, fair enough. I'll take the hint. I will take the hint. There's unlikely anything of value inside. Okay, we got something out of there. Uh, Beta Pantheon, Nova Sidonia, White Dwarf, Archimon. Let's head to Archimon. It's kind of on the way home. Um, yeah, I want to head to Val. I want to head to Valhalla because apparently, because um, Sindra is a good place to sell survey data, and apparently the Tritachion pay a lot of money for AI cores. A lot of money for AI cores. Uh, okay, Arkham, let's go, 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 go. Ooh, discovered a warning beacon. Orange level. That's Nova Sidonia. Cool, we got a point to spend anyway. Warning beacons... I'm not going to bother to check that because I've got a mission to go to. But as far as I'm aware, warning beacons all say the same thing. There are remnants in this system. Um, Where's my point going to go? Combat endurance. 
ordnance expertise. Yes, ordnance expertise. I want the I want the the mortar shells to fly out faster. The heavy mortar is not flying out fast enough for my tastes. Uh, we're still good in fuel capacity. Uh, let's jump into arid world. Arid world is good. Arid world is very very good. I'm gonna jump into the uh, the gravity well, the gas giant. But arid world is fine. Arid world is livable. And a lot of and a lot of surveyable stuff. A lot of surveyable stuff here. Not surveyable, a lot of salvageable stuff as well. Okay, so what do we get here? We have everything. The arid world is 25%, and the barren bombard world is 250. So arid is definitely priority, because arid is likely to be livable. Hello! Hang on, so we have a derelict... What are you? A derelict Hermes Mercury. I'm not going to bother with the, with the metals right now. There are remnants in the system, though. There are remnants in this system. Um, crap. Uh, large levels of crap. Uh, bother. Dormant fleet over there. Hi. Quickly survey this planet. Common organics, poor farmland, widespread ruins. Really? Common organics and poor farmland, you give me class 2. This is clearly livable. This is a habitable planet. It's hot, inimical by... Okay, fair enough. <laughs> it's deadly to unprotected human beings. Fine. Okay. Okay, pause. Let's see what we're doing here. I definitely want to move away from these guys. Definitely want us to like, not be close to that fleet when that fleet catches up to us. That might be a bad idea. Let's turn around and see what's up here. Okay, it's a mining station of the derelict ship. Okay, they're catching up to us. It's fine. Like, I, we'll do the fight? Okay, we can't explore at the moment because we're being tracked. Let's do this fight. Okay, so what do we have here? Spark interceptors have two burst PD lasers. Um, Lumen class standard drone ships with Atropos single swarmers and ion cannons. Okay. You are Glimmer class assault drone ships with ion pulsers and ion pulsers and pulse lasers. You are a drone ship. Heavy blaster, tactical lasers, sabos, and ion pulsers. And you are a drone ship cruiser. You, I'm concerned about because you got a pl you got a plasma cannon and two HVDs. Yeah, that is not. Here goes. Probably the stupidest of ideas, but here goes. You guys stick together. You guys stick. You guys stick together. You stick with. No, 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 no. There. You go. You clear that order out. You stick with me. Okay. Part of me really wants to put a massive defend order here. We want to stick together? I think we, I think we want to stick together. So I'm going to put a massive defend order there. Okay. We're going to do what we can to stay alive. Which is a really, really worrying way of, sort of, 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 of doing this. I'll be honest with you. Great. That's quick. That's quick. Well, that got ganged upon hard, didn't it? They, they ganged upon that hard. Yeah, we're getting wrecked right now. It doesn't help that those things can teleport away. Yeah, this is not, this is not going on well for us, has it? Okay, one of them's down at least. I'm 
on vent. Vent, you crazy thing. Is it firing? Are those, what are those? Iron pulsers, right? Okay, so we put some damage on that thing at least. Damn, I think vented way too quickly. I, was, I, wanted, I wanted to basically put some harpoons into it when I had a moment. Didn't get the chance. I didn't want to take those sabos on my shields. Oh my god, my harpoons are down! No! Yes. The wolf is taking damage though, Delphinus is taking damage. It's being all the way it's being awesome all the way over there. I can't really do much right right now. I'm gonna die. This thing's gonna die, right? It's dead. Good. We're gonna vent. We're gonna turn around. Why are you all the way over there? Why are you all the way over there? <laughs> the defend order's over here! Don't separate out that stuff that much! Come on, man! Help me out a bit here. Like, yeah, Wolf, come around. Like, seriously, give him a wide berth and come back around. I know you're in low... C you're gonna die to CR problems before anything else. Okay, while we're here in a, kind of in a, in a minor moment of lull, is there any point to Marines these days? If all you're doing is salvaging dead ships, is there any point to Marines? Or is there a way to salvage, like, living ships, which require marines to take out remaining crew? Yeah. Uh, you're gonna have to go. Like, your low combat readiness is really burning through. I think one of your, I think one of your hull mods, or one of your D mods, is, like, bad readiness. Unfortunately. By Wayfair. Yeah, that thing is going to be the problem. Fair, that thing wouldn't be the problem if we could get it down to. <sighs> Delphinus is dead, right? Because it's going to run out of CR. Delphinus is dead, I can't stop that. Oh, those sabos is going to be a problem. Those sabos are going to be a prior problem. I'm going to go overloaded because of that. Yep. Oof. That was a good Atropos, damn it. Okay. That condor is in way too close, right? And it's overloaded. It's in the, in the path of the bloody plasma cannon. Condor's dead. It's not dead? It's gonna die soon, but how is it not dead? Yeah, it's taking plasma fires now, okay. Okay, well, that's the end of this trip. Mm. I should've just bugged out the second I saw there was a... No, goodbye, Condor. Goodbye, Heaven Hunter. Full retreat. Get out. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's save what we can. Save what we can. Hold fire and get the hell out of here. Hold fire and get the hell out. Basically, we're going to do a massive retreat. Can I get as many ships out as possible? What can, what's worth saving? The AI cores, the survey data.
Dolphinus is dead, right? CR is zero. It's going to get shot in the back. Yeah. Goodbye, Dolphinus. I'm taking... Fire, fire ships, just fire. Oh, we're almost out. We are almost out. None of the other ships are making it, unfortunately. Maybe the Wayfarer, but I doubt it very much. The idea is we want to. We need to take. We need to carry fuel, survey data. That's everything. Come on, yeah. Attempt to disengage. Crash boss ball some of the ships. Right. Well, let's get out of here then. Everybody leave. Everybody get out. They sent some flankers around, unfortunately. But basically everybody leave. <laughs> we are our job is to get out of here in one piece. Or as much as one piece as we can get. Oh, uh, that's not good. Those fighters are really, really, really messing me over right about now. So I've got no armor on my rear side. Come on, fighters. Oh my guys, burn out. At least one ship has got to make it out. Come on. Okay, the Mudskipper's down. I keep calling it Wayfarer, it's Mudskipper. Wayfarer's... No, it is, it is the Mudskipper, that one's Wayfarer. Dram, get out of here. Yeah, because I'm dead. I'm dead. That's dead. Wow, we're down to the Dram. And the Dram's not going to be able to get out of here alive. It's got an Omni Shield at least, but it's going to overload real quick. No, leave, just leave, get out of here. No, 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 we're flamed out, we're dead. <sighs> yeah. What a Thursday, huh? So much money going. I should have bugged out. I should have bugged out the second I saw. At least it with the remnant reduced. Oh no, the remnant don't like me. Like I care. Um. Your fleet is scattered and you barely escape in a command pod. After a while, you're picked up by a passing salvage fleet and taken back to civilization. Eventually, you acquire another couple of craft and are able to ply the space lanes once again. Cancel. Right. I got nothing. Now what am I working with? Right, the same ships I started off with last time. Damn. Where am I? I'm in... I'm in, I'm in Nastalan. Okay. Blast! Right, let's quickly name these ships and we'll call it a day. I should have just left. The second I saw there was remnant in the system, I should have just left. Uh, KNS. This is the KNS Jolly Roger. And this is going to be the KNS Zekamashi. Zekamashi, yes, Zekamashi. Oops. Mashi, there you go. Right, I'll call it there for now, folks. We gotta build up. We gotta stick, we gotta pick up the pieces, but we got a lot of money to do so. I mean, we 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 managed to complete the mission, and we managed to get the money from that at least. Um, we lost the survey data, but it wasn't like it wasn't class five survey data. It was like class one and two, so it's not that bad. Um, we lost the AI cores. That is a blow. The loss of the AI cores is a blow. Um, I wonder if. Our, um, our corpses are still there. <laughs> our corpses. I wonder if the, the wreckage is still there. It's a good question. I don't think so. I doubt it. It would be interesting if they made it that way. That when when you when if you get destroyed, the salvage of your fleet is still there. That'd be kind of cool. Anyway, folks, that's it for today. Um, like I said, do the homework. Check Warian. Just do a quick survey of Warian in a new game. Let me know what's in it. Let's find out right now. We can do. A, in a, as a batch, we can get some good, like, 20, 30, 30, 20, 30 results in, hopefully, at least, and let me know 
what it is. What is Warian for you? What did Warian give you in survey results? I will catch you guys next time, folks. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, on the Discord, and on Twitch. Um, I haven't streamed much this week uh, because I was doing other things. Uh, but I might stream a bit in the weekend. Who knows? Anyway, I'll catch you guys next time, folks. Tomorrow we basically start rebuilding our little empire. I'll catch you then, folks. Bye.